What's up, everybody? King J Smooth back with another video. And going to Family Dollar real quick. It's about 8 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? That's my uncle right there. And my grandma. I don't know what they about to do. Let me see. I might just go ahead and what? Uh, that would have been my ride though. I need a ride. But I'm gonna walk. <sighs> don't even see me. I um, don't so, say hey, away, hi, you know that. Then so, you know, I just need to walk. Walk down there real quick now. I need to hurry up and get down there. But I don't see it real, real bad. I ain't smoked today. At all. I want to, though. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. They haven't been days. Like that is since I haven't smoked. Like sometimes I'll go like seven days, six days sometimes, but um, you wonder why my face all greasy. The food is scratching my nose I put some meals for it. But uh, it's starting to get bricked. Well, it was already cold, but I wasn't feeling it like that, you know what I'm saying? You know how you come out and you just don't feel it. There ain't no snow nowhere, no. it's just cold as a bitch. That means that snow coming real soon. Now this jacket is warm. You know, it's warm. But I'm still freezing my hands. For some reason, for no reason. <laughs> like, it's like real dark. But yeah, I'm just coming out. Or I don't know. But it's Saturday. It looks like a Sunday. Right now, but I'll see everybody open the shit. But I know it's kind of like. To play this bitch by ear. Really, it's like nine o'clock, so I gotta hurry up and get down the street. Let me run this one. I'll be back. Oh yeah, here y'all. I know that my street is mad dark. I'm glad y'all hear it. Everything just brighten all up. But huh. I'm just really like thinking, man. Well, all the stuff that's going on, it seems like it's a lot going on. And then nothing's going on. You know what I'm saying? You ever felt like you was fighting against stuff? Uh, 
motherfucker ain't got nothing to do with you. And you just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And they keep pushing back. And then, as soon as you win that battle, something else comes. Yeah. But I ain't gonna sweat it, man. Yeah, I'm about to, to just start turning up more and more and more. And turn up on them more and more and more and more and more. As you know, some of us have cracked the code, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Really cracked the code, man. And, you know, sometimes you just got to work the glitch, you know. In a way, I got set up. It's about to be crazy. Well, I'm saying shit up about crazy, but you just gotta do it, man. That thing, you gotta keep on pushing, keep on doing it, keep putting points up on the board. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'm talking about stuff keep happening. A lot of stuff happening. It looks like ain't nothing happening. My uncle passed. My grandmother's brother just passed. Um, I just got the news today. Uh, he was around a lot when I was younger. I see him all the time, so well, I got a connection. Why is this store closed? They closed down early, early, early. So I got a connection with him. So I just got done with my cousin. A couple weeks ago. Yeah, I'm awful, so I gotta see what's going on. Stay close to my family. They both on the same side, too. They on my dad's side. So. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I just keep happening, happening, happening. But I gotta get more active out in the world, the community. And I feel like I gotta get out and do more, connect more. You feel me? Especially with like family and stuff. A little bit. Come with no expectations. Cause if you ain't got no expectations, you won't be disappointed. You feel what I'm saying? It just be, it is what it is. I just woke up. Yeah, I'm trying to get some milk and stuff. I've been sleeping all day, guys. All day. Man, I feel like there's so much stuff to do. And my wife did a lot today. And it's still a lot to do. It be seem like it's never ending.
never ending. You know what I really want to do? I keep saying it like I want to clear out that pantry. I want to clear out the pantry and keep my living room clean and shit. And clear out my office. That's what I really want to do. So, so I, I'm work on that again some more. Organize my pimp gear. You know what I'm saying? Like, cleaning a lot of my sneakers and stuff while um, putting back in the boxes, organize stuff. I just really like shift through stuff. Burger while I'm getting rid of. Work. I got something I feel like I need, but ain't no room for it. I got glass cups and stuff that I need. Like, honestly, we need them. But there's nowhere to put them in the kitchen. Like, we can't get out all our dishes. That would trip me out. being with the air. But one day I'll be able to just come through and bless everybody. You know what I'm saying? You know, ain't gonna change much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, How you doing tonight, uh, God? look at this list and see what she wanted. <sighs> Let me see. Make your one of these. These are 
don't drink none of this stuff. It's like this. Green. The orange one. Well, I say fire. Now let's see. This guy in raw part. Um, I think she wants to talk to you. Like, y'all understand, guys. It's free and free from outside. Let me look at this first real quick. Think about some pillow pillows. Pin size stuff. And I have no clue of what I'll get my wife. For Christmas, we're gonna sacrifice so much this season. Hopefully, it all pay off. You look at my nose, you know, turn my nose up. I didn't mean to, but it's just playing. I'm just spinning around on my chest. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it's sweet and stuff. You mess around, scratch me. Can't pause. I'm going to the floor. That's what's going on. I'm trying to get around. I got my Maji detergent too. This is a lot of stuff. It's like, it's like, and then I'm thinking about everything I need to buy. And how it's already no room. So when I get there, what up, what up? When I get back to the house, first thing I'm going to do is hit that pantry area and just start taking everything out. That's what I really think I need to do. And then pull everything out the pantry area. So I can see what I really got. And this stuff that I got. Just don't know I got. It. You know what I'm saying? The last stuff I got, I just don't know I got. It. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta look for it. Alright. I'll be back. Nah, I ain't really get much. Oh, I should go. Ten dollars a chain. Which I think is crazy. Like, got like four items. But for what it's worth. Was kind of with three something. So, you know. <laughs> you know, you know. I gotta make sure 
my wife able to get back and forth to work and stuff too. Now, I'm seeing a lot on YouTube lately. Like, the algorithm is a strange thing. Because I'm feeling like people I ain't never seen before with like high number counts. So, like, they got 900,000 subscribers. Never seen them before. Well, all of a sudden, they're popping up on my recommended. Like this one girl, um, her channel is your you local black girl, or just some local black girl, or something like that. First day I seen her was today, <laughs> but she been going strong for years. I looked at it; it was like six, seven years. I'm like, why? Well, I ain't never seen her before. Like, her channel look like it's lit. But, as I'm seeing it, the first video I see is a video you saying goodbye to YouTube. That's crazy. Like, how did that pop up on the recommended? These are the questions I ask myself. Like, I can understand. Like, a million dollars worth of game. Stuff like that. Whatever, popping up. Are you leisure and all that stuff? Because when you always watching business and stuff like that, and then you're black, that urban finance that's what I like to call it the urban finance sector pops up because the finance sector is like completely different from the urban finance sector that urban finance sector is that sector where it's more of a hip-hop culture. You know, you get you got your hip-hop finance type situation. Right? Which I wasn't necessarily coin that phrase but that's what it is so a lot of this stuff you're talking about the rap industry and contracts and stuff like that. or they'll be talking about investing and stuff but there's like oh, it's for the culture and all this stuff you know some of it's good some of it's not you know it is what it is but got your finance culture that would be the like channels that's more so like not there for entertainment they mainly there for education a lot of times you know what I'm saying and the education and the value that they bring is entertaining because you learn a lot of new stuff and shit like that But come find out she um build the business things like that. All types of amazing stuff. 
I'm kind of like making correlation. That uh, urban finance world and finance world that might be less popped up. But my plans will change automatically. <laughs> but um, you guys, she look good, you know. And she's professional, but she's still like in that like urban type genre if you want to categorize it like that but like, I don't know why I be saying certain stuff and it just and then everybody starts saying it that's the case, I'm thinking she should have been kind of like popped up on my algorithm, on my feed, and my recommend recommendations, you know, right along with everybody else. It's just funny because a lot of the people that I'm finding now is like I literally found them in different ways. Like my man Quan, I found him because of clothing. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody kept mentioning him and his brand and stuff. So it was more so of a word of mouth. Then I looked them up. So I was like, oh snap, they lit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that strategy of getting out and doing things and networking, communicating is a big one. It's a it's a big thing. Like actually. But then a couple other people I found through the recommendation tab. Like they just recommended or they spoke us up about a certain topic. And that's how I found them. Like, oh, um, BC, I mean, BSC, BB. I found from them keep popping up on my recommendation tab. They're not that big at all, but once you get that formula down all the way, you start getting lit off of um, a certain subject matter. And he just kept doubling down on that subject, doubling down on that subject, doubling down on that subject. And I even noticed, like, when you go 
go to talk about other stuff. I don't get that much traction. You know what I'm saying? And mainly, a lot of the viewers that he was getting that time was from other people. Basically, the yeah, other people's channel. Because it was upset about the subject matter. You get what I'm saying? If throw up all different types of ways on the subject matter. And it was an emotional. It was an emotional time for everybody. <laughs> it's still emotional, damn bitch. They, they used to fight you. I, mean, I don't understand. These boys is wild, boy. These niggas, niggas will fight you over this shit. And I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to be to that point where, like, niggas fight you over something. Over me, boy. Nah. <laughs> Like, I want niggas to I want to be in that point where people will hurt you over me. Like, that, that, that's tough. That's real dope. Uh, and not that many people that be like, oh. Somebody did what? Oh, all right. I'm on way. Say no more. And truth be told about it, there's some real gangsters in this sector. <laughs> Dealing with the subject matter. There's some real gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Some real ones. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of the real ones like fell back like, I ain't going to get into it so. You know what I'm saying? Let them deal with that. Let them handle it. Whatever. You know, it hurt, but, you know, it is what it is. The real ones ain't picking sides like that. Because, shit, we've been with them for so long, you know, as a family. So, it's like, your little sister... Got divorced from your brother, you know, like your brother-in-law been around for my long, or your sister-in-law been around for my long. For me, it's complicated. But <laughs> but that's the only point. Point was that they got the views and keep hitting the recommendation on a certain subject matter. You feel what I'm saying? So they niched all the way down. I'm wondering, still, how did she end up on my recommendation? And why she never was there before? Because her channel is really lit, like... Like she lit. I'm not gonna front. She alright. She got a little grin. I'm about to go home and binge watch her content. To see what was really going on. You know what I'm saying? She already told me quitting YouTube. I ain't even get done with the video about her quitting YouTube. Ah, right, come out get the milk and stuff. I'm about to go home and clean and all that stuff. But when I'm clean, I'm going to be watching her. See what in the world she's talking about. It was dope. Because as she's talking about Kirk Quentin YouTube, she's doing little flashbacks and stuff. So she did. So like, I'm like, if this is the first time I'm seeing you and you quitting, yeah, I don't think it's time for you quitting. Because, <laughs> like, girl. 
This is your time to shine. No, you don't got me on your, on your side too. What? Anyway, man, I'm back at the pit. Huh? I'll holler at you later, man. I'm going to figure that out. Those will be my questions about the algorithm. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, King J Spoon, and I'm out with him.